Hey guys, it's Haf. I am back again and this time it is a makeup look video, specifically this makeup look, um, as part of a collaboration, a year-long collaboration with the Geeks and Beauties. We are doing makeup looks each month that are inspired by the zodiac signs. So first up, of course, is a Capricorn um, and this is my Capricorn look. It's kind of dark and grungy and I think, you know, pretty cool as far as Capricorn go. So if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. Uh, so I have put on a, I put on eye primer and then I used my Lancome black pencil and I just put that on the lid and then blended it out. And then I've gone in with the light gray from the Be A Bombshell New York City eyeshadow quad and just uh, put that through the transition area. So Capricorn is hard to, seems to be hard to define. There's lots of different um, looks apparently or colors associated with it. But the one that seemed to be overarching was kind of greys and dark mossy green kind of colours and burgundies and that sort of thing. So I'm going to do a smoky eye basically. So now I'm going to go in with the green from the same quad and go back through. Just not blowing it out quite as much. And then on the lid area, I'm going to go in with the black, obviously. I'm sort of pressing the black a bit so that it's not uh, going everywhere. And then I'm just going to blend the edge with a bit more green. Okay, um, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to do my base mage makeup, which I didn't do in case I got black everywhere. Uh, and then I'll be back to finish off the look. Okay, so I did a little bit of bronzing and contouring, um, which aren't part of this look, so it doesn't really matter. Um, they're just there. For blush, I'm going to use this kind of uh, wine coloured one. This is a carbon pine um, blush. Excuse my dark. Um, this is packs quite a punch, so kind of got to be a little bit careful. But I am going for a fairly dramatic look, so that works. Okay, 
And then for highlighter, I'm going to use my Daybreak one because it's the one that's in my project. Um, it's an ombre one, but it doesn't really ombre. It's not the best highlighter. Kind of have to use a lot. But that's alright because I like using a lot of highlighter. Add some life back into my face. My chin now looks weird, but okay. Okay, what kind of dead did that only lip colour on? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna give that all a little blend. Maybe blend. Then underneath my eyes, I'm going to take the um, Beer Bombshell quad again and take the black. I'm going to run it under the eye and join it up with that outer corner. Sort of create a bit of a wing with just the powder. And then take some green and just join it all together. Then I am going to tight line and line my eyes with the Lancome Black. And I'm just going to, not that you really be able to see it, but I'm going to line across the top of my eyelids with my mellow And then I'm going to set that down with some more black eyeshadow, just so it doesn't 
move around. And I'm going to curl my lashes. And add a couple of coats of um, the balm or what your tap. Then I'm going to line my lips with the LA Go Endless Lip Liner in Mobilis. And I am going to use this lipstick from OXX, which is Kmart brand, um, doesn't have a name. but it's a really nice burgundy kind of color. And that is my final look. So if you wanna be involved in this um, and you're not already, just comment down below, let me know that you're doing it. I can add you to the list of people who are doing it. Uh, yeah, and check out the Geeks and Beauties on Facebook if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the little bell so you get notified when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup look type videos and leave me a comment down below. I will at least like your comment and I will try to respond to any questions that you might have. And I'll see you in my next video. Say ya. Yeah.